Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits Reviews. Today I'm going to review a cider that I picked up from Tesco's about two weeks ago now. Spotted it, I thought I'm definitely trying that. So, Recorder Leg uh, Spiced Plum Cider. 4% as most of these um, fruit, fruit, fruit ciders are. And uh, Recorder Leg, if, if you don't know, they make a massive range of ciders from passion fruit to kiwi, um, obviously your mixed fruits, your strawberry and limes, or variants of them, uh, peach and mango, passion fruit, uh, you know, a fantastic range. Um, they also do a winter, I think it's a winter spiced one, we used to do it at, Sa at Sainsbury's. And uh, yeah, so fantastic range of ciders. Uh, it says here, in, enjoy hot or cold. Uh, I've never had a cider hot. I have tried mulled cider in, in Nottingham's Market Square before. Um, it, was, it was passable, you know. It's uh, not really my cup of tea. I'd rather have it cold. But um, each to their own. So, let's crack this open. And... Uh, See what it looks like. Right, different glass today. So lovely plum colour, I suppose you could say, like a light plum colour. Plenty of carbonation, as you'd expect from a cider. Plenty of fizz on the top. Uh, not much of a head, to be fair, but lots of carbonation there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's it bubbling up. Bubbles up nearly an inch above the glass, so. So. Mm. Oh, lovely. Um, really strong plum flavour. Little sweet, if you don't like sweetness, but some, most... Most fruit ciders are a tad on the sweet side. Not horrible sweet, you know. I found that um, Lidl's Sotma um, brand that they use, a little too sweet. Um, I was very, very impressed with Aldi's, um, is it Alster or something? Their brand. Obviously, you've got Copperberg and Recorder Link, the two brand leaders. But then you've also got Old Moat Cider. I've not mentioned them before, and they make some crack insiders it does seem to be the Swedish ciders that have took the fruit cider category by storm um, most of the traditional ciders seem to be the English ones whereas you know it is the Swedish uh, who have uh, certainly the champions um, if anybody's interested in home brewing, there's some kits out there that emulate or uh, or very close to what the Copperbergs and McCorder legs are. So if you want to get them, um, I'd love a plum um, variant. Uh, Bulldog, are you watching? Uh, Bulldog Brews, they make a lot of decent ciders. They make a toffee apple cider. Oh. So do Brothers. There's another name, Brothers. They... They also make uh, a rhubarb and custard and toffee apple. Lovely. So. A lovely taste. Dead refreshing. Oh, lovely notes of plum in that. I'll see if I can fetch some review or two off the internet. Only really going to say the same as what I'm saying, but. So. Record a leg plum cider review. There you go. I'm waiting for the internet. So, seems to have been out two years ago because somebody's actually made a review two years ago of it. Well, I've only first, I've only just spotted it. So. And 
someone's given it a 5 out of 5, a, a warm spice to a quarter leg. Uh, there don't seem to be many review sites, there's one or two YouTube reviews. So, I'll give it my review and uh, let's hope that goes on. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Um, I could imagine this is very much like the uh, the other mould spiced uh, cider that's around in the winter months. The plum, yeah, you can smell it. You know, it, I, it smells very similar to that, to the, the winter mould spice. Lovely smell to it. Still fizzing away, lovely. Still plenty of carbonation, plenty of taste, you know, lovely. Day like today, we've had a lot of rain over this weekend, if you're in England. Um, temperatures have dropped nicely. I mean, it's a lovely 68 degrees in here, in the beer room today. Much, much uh, more manageable. Better for working and not so good for if you're sunbathing on holiday. But, you know, I don't sunbathe anyway. If I go anywhere, I'll either go to theme parks, and then I like, you know, we'll get back to the hotel or wherever we're at, and then you know, have a drink in the bar and have a meal, and then probably good bed because we're that good. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say now, totally forgot. So, yeah, don't do a lot of sunbathing to be fair. Oh. I can imagine it's fantastic hot. It's certainly fantastic cold. Now, as for, as for my favourite, is, is it my favourite? That's the thing. I absolutely love the plum taste. Um, if you're a plum fan, the likes of St. Peter's and Titanic Brewery both do plum porters. Titanic also do a plum porter reserve, which is even stronger. And uh, so, you know, if you like your beers and you see them at a, um, a beer festival, then it's definitely worth trying them out. Uh, soon in Nottingham, we've got the Robin Hood Festival this year. It's at the Motor Point Arena, uh, the, you know, the ice skating arena, instead of Nottingham Castle, one of my former workplaces. Um, should be a thousand beers, what they're saying. Uh, the list has not come out yet. I'm going on the Friday. But take the camera, get some bit footage while I'm there. Don't think I'm going to do any, uh, you know, outdoor beer reviews. But you never know. Depends how I feel. Depends how drunk I am when I'm there. And if my mate's up for it and wants to talk uh, rubbish to the camera, as it were, then we'll have a go. Nottingham. Uh, brewers will be out in force, you know, the likes of Lincoln Green, Flipside Brewery, which are in Colic, Lincoln Green Hucknall, Blue Monkey, that's in Guilt Book, um, you've got Shipston's Brewery, I'm not quite sure where they're based, it's in Baseford actually, the old ship hose was in Baseford, um, and they've also started making Robin Hood Ales, I'm, I'm sure, you've got Springhead, you've got Navigation Brewery, um, um, yeah, Springhead. Yeah, and that's just to name a few. So good to see. And Nottingham Ales as well. There's another one. So it's good to see that, you know, a lot of our. Oh, Castle Rock. God, how can I forget Castle Rock? So a lot of them will be at the beer festival. You know, it's a great beer festival. Um, plenty of food, plenty of different ciders, wines, beers, of course, food. Uh, in a good location, safe location. Um, Obviously, you park your car wherever you can nearby. Car, you know, there's some secure car parks. There's some that are expensive as well. You know, if you are parking, if you are driving, I'll be catching the bus because I ain't get, I ain't driving or get the wife to give me a lift down, which I'm sure she'll do. So, what can I say about that? Lovely, perfect, um, perfect fruit cider. Little sweet, but you know, 
a lovely sweet rather than a, a, a nasty sweetness plum taste beautiful you know i'm loving that the making ciders are so many different flavors we don't just want apples and pear ciders these days we want different flavors you know it brings a lot more people in brings a lot of women into you know drinking ciders helps um spread you know because the old ciders the old cloudy ciders and all that yeah they're all right but they don't you know they're not appealing to the mass population these certainly are so out of five i'm going to give it a good 4.6 out of five i loved it i don't think it's my favorite cider but very nice indeed anyway lovely thanks for watching see you soon